Good evening, everyone. And look at this big old thing on my turntable, which it doesn't, it seems my turntable doesn't like it very much. What we have here is a king size that I picked up picking up in Carlisle, Pennsylvania this weekend. It is the K18 Dodge Tractor and Articulated Horse Van. Um, it came out in 1967 for the king size series. As you can see, it's got some really cool details. It looks a lot like the BP, uh, probably the same ca the casting on the on the truck is just like almost like the BP, the BP tow truck, wreck truck. Um, it has has rear and side opening doors, and it has some pretty cool detail in the back there. You know, it's got the stalls and. I guess this would be where they worked. They would hitch them up and all that. But unfortunately, as you can see, my horses have ran off. But fortunately, the doors are still here. Somebody gave it this really sexy purple paint job when it was supposed to be tan, and they painted the the ca the cap the cab the cab of the truck. And I think the windows were supposed to be like a blue or green. Um, hopefully, I can get this beautiful purple off of these windows otherwise we are going to be having to source a windshield which I might go ahead and get that on the way just to make it look a little better I don't know if I can get the one for the cab so we got to save that bad boy um I got two of the six wheels on the road on the tractor part and these look like Alvis Stillwart wheels like the BP exploration vehicles which I can probably find some of those or get some new ones because those are pretty they they're pretty looks like they did some serious road driving with this thing and probably hauled a lot of horses in their time especially for per, for Barney stables with that crazy purple paint job I swear the only thing that ever should be purple is a Mopar so but anyways a lot of uh I don't have much in it. You can barely see the little horse decal on the on the door and it said something like Ascot Stables back there. Um but anyways, we're going to go ahead and, and take this thing apart and see what we can do with this. Um a lot of people were really interested in this and this will be my very first king size. So this will be kind of fun. So we're going to put it back to 100% original, try to make it look brand new. So we'll see what we can do here, and maybe my horses will come back. So stay tuned. Let's take this thing apart and see what we got inside. Okay, here we are. We have our horse trailer and Dodge truck disassembled, ready for inspection. As you can see... The castings are all pretty good. Like I say, they'll clean up real nice. I got some red underneath here that I can match some paint. And I have, luckily, some tan paint left underneath here so I can match that up. And what I'm going to do is we have the wheels we have new tires on order and we have decals on order from a new vendor black rose decals in England and like I say what we're going to do next is we're going to take this with this beautiful purple paint on it and this, this fancy red tent on here, which is kind of fly, we're going to throw these along with all these nicely little painted wheels, everything plastic, into a jar of pine saw like one of my, um, one of my subscribers recommended. But, and we might throw this in here too because this is all dirt. This has got some nice, pretty purple paint on it. The purple horse trailer. Maybe it was Barney's. I don't know. The 
big purple dinosaurs. That was a little bit later after my time, but but this thing goes together. It's got all the cool little bits and pieces. This horn here on top of the roof went all the way through and was your rivet for the window. I thought that was kind of cool. And we got a little, this is your pivot pin for the truck to the trailer, which does not separate. All I'll have to do is, is drill that out and tap it and put a screw in there and we'll be able to reassemble that bad boy. Um, kind of neat. Another neat, little neat thing I've never seen on, since I'm working on small ones, a king size has a, a suspension block back here in the very back set of wheels, I guess, to keep the, you know, little suspension on there. But that was underneath the axle. Kind of little, neat little things. And you know me, I am not drilling those out. There's no need to. So this that's i mean how the hell would you put that back in there and how would it stay even with super glue super glue would probably mess this stuff up because it makes the plastic hard or contaminants and and it won't stay in place or it'll crack so i'm just going to leave that alone yeah, and my old philosophy is if it's not broke don't fix it so but we will strip the paint off of this and we will soak it in some lime away before we give it a nice fresh polishing um but like i say we'll do do some paint stripping and we'll do some pine saw let's and we'll leave it in there for a couple days i got a couple days ahead of me though and i'm not gonna be able to work on anything so we will stick all these plastic bits that have overspray on them in the jar of pine saw so stay tuned. Okay, here we are. We have some Pine Saw Multi Surface Cleaner. Straight from coming to you at a grocery store near you. So they told they said let this stuff soak in a jar of pee here and it should clean the windows. So we'll let We'll let it let it we'll let it do its magic here. It smells better than most of the stuff chemicals I use. So here goes the interior the of the horse trailer. Here goes the window and all the wheels. Look at them. It's like a snow globe. There we go. All right, and we'll put this lid on here. I'm going to take this back, uh, this jar of PP with parts, PP parts, back over to the workbench for a couple days. Okay. Well, my, I guess, pine saw didn't work. My viewer who gave me the, uh, the, the suggestion, thank you for the suggestion. I really appreciate it, but it just didn't work for me. Um, this purple paint. Just a little bit too strong for my stuff and something it was the mopping glow being in there or the um easy off which I haven't had any problem with easy off before so I'm I'm gonna go with the pine saw. I said did I say mopping glow? I'm sorry, it's been a it's the end of the day, it's been a long work week. But uh yeah. I just went ahead from this gentleman here, MK Models. I think he's in the Netherlands. And when my orders come in, they have all this crazy language on here that I can't read. So, but he does me good. He gets me my parts. So we just had, we went ahead and sourced a new one. I went in and bit the bullet and bought that. And we bought all the new tires. I bought decals. Um... I think that's it. Um, this here, it kind of clouded my window. The pine saw did. So I got a lot of work with, because I, I gotta save this bad boy. Luckily it doesn't have any cracks in it, but I got all the, I, I wet sanded the, the rest of the paint off. And don't have to worry about the back, just the three sides. 
in the inside. So hopefully we can get this cloudy mess looking somewhat respectable. So stay tuned. Hello. We're back with this build here. It's been a while since I filmed on this. I actually had to go back and look and see what I've actually done and what I haven't, which I haven't spent a lot of time on this. I spent most of my time trying to source parts for this thing. Um, as you remember, I tried to soak this in a couple of different solutions that people recommended online or in my comments. And evidently this is a I guess a lacquer paint. I mean, I could probably sit there sand and buff it to hell, but like I say, it's got a, I don't know if you can see this, it's got a, a it's kind of a, I guess you'd say hazed. I spent a lot of time, I kind of ruined it, what was left of it, and it had a crack in it anyways. So, and this piece here, I don't know what color this was supposed to be, but I, I think I got, I ended up getting another one for a fraction of the price that this part costs. And this one's pretty crusty. It's got a lot of corrosion, It's, but I have four good, all the good hubs and axles. I have a perfect window. And voila, the interior was green, not purple. So, and I will use this one for paint matching. And that way we will still be using some of the original. We're gonna combine the two and make one really nice horse trailer. So let me get all this stuff apart. We'll use this one for paint matching and I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in the vat of stripper and get that ugly paint off of it. So stay tuned. Here we are with our two articulated horse trucks. Um, got everything cleaned off. Finally got all that ugly purple. Some, but unfortunately, let's see if I can get the light in here on this. See all those horizontal scratches on that side and deep ones all through this side, all through the roof. And let's see, and on the front too. Let's see if I can get it to focus there. Come along. There you go. But you can see this thing has really been scarred up. I guess they used a heavy wire wheel trying to clean that tan paint off to put that beautiful purple on. So, don't ask me, I don't know, it's a shame. I can fix it, but I'm gonna have way too much time in trying to sand that out. And plus, if you see all these little panelings where my thumb is, it's gonna mess with that, that detailing. So the rest of the stuff looks good, just like they only did it on this. So we're gonna go ahead and, once I get my paint mixed, I'm going to go ahead and strip this. Well, I got to strip it down anyways. We're going to go with it, this one, which has better, I mean, it has some cor corrosion on it, on, at least on the trailer part. The cab of mine, the cab is fine. We will be good to go with that. I just got to wire wheel everything. And as you can see, this one's got a nice coat of, coat of corrosion all over the front of it. I don't know where that was sitting. But... Between the two, I will make one really nice one. So let me get this stuff apart and we'll maybe we'll make some paint. Stay tuned. Okay, and we're back. As you see, I've got a few of the pieces to the puzzle primed already and ready for paint. Um, the actual horse box itself is sitting in some lime away, getting some of the corrosion off of it, just to give it a nice fresh start and I mix the paints off camera because I'm really trying to uh, cut down the length of my videos. And if you, there's something that I cut out that you liked seeing me do, please let, it, let me know in the comments and I will put it back in and maybe we'll try to shorten something else. But uh, just trying to get my videos down from 
you know, 30 minutes down to about 15. And it's a whole learning experience. I've never done this before, before this year. So I'm trying my best. But to get on with the subject, I used this front casting of the Dodge truck to mix a little bit on the back here. And as you can see on this top, I got it pretty close. And that's what I have in here. It is um, the majority of the X7 Red with a quarter of, or maybe a little less than a quarter of X6 Orange. And that's how I got the color for the cab. And it was pretty simple. And as far as the, there it goes out of focus. As far as the base goes and these doors, I matched this up earlier. It's a flat aluminum. I mean, the drip right there, but you can see it's really, really close right there where my thumb is. And that's the old, that's the old base. I figured I'll use this one since that was, these are the main heart pieces of the thing. I didn't want to use, I tried, wanted to try to do the, the one that was really beat the worst. And maybe I'll get enough parts to build another one later on. But for that, we're just using straight out of the thing, flat aluminum XF-16. And for the one that I, I thought might have been tough, wasn't really that bad, was the tan for the actual horse trailer itself that you see. I used some desert yellow XF-59. And I mixed in some good old X2 white. And this was actually darker than the actual horse trailer. So we just kept mixing a little bit of white, a little bit more white. And we came up with this. And this is as close as I can get to it. So that's what the color it will be. Um, I'm really excited about this. I've never done a king size before. Um, you'll see a lot more of these in the future if you like them. So please leave that in the comments also if you like the king side of that. Figure it'd be something different. So stay tuned. We're going to do some painting and come back and hopefully do a little bit more odds and ends. I don't know what I'm going to do next because this has a lot of little bits and pieces. So stay tuned to see what we're going to do next. Okay, and we're back. I just... Got this all stripped off, and wow, <laughs> I left this in the lime away. We had a little bit of corrosion on the roof, and I guess there was a little bit more than I anticipated, but fortunately, this being a painted vehicle instead of, thank God it's not a Hot Wheels, because that would be totally screwed. That's a deep pitting. I don't know what that was from. But it's still better than the other one that I have that is covered in sand and wire wheel scratches. Industrial wire wheel scratches. Because everything else is looking pretty swell. I'm going to take a wire wheel, a, a, a brass wire wheel to this, like I always do. None of that heavy shit that ruined the other one. But get my spot putty out. Looks like we're going to be doing some body work. Not a big deal. My first car was a 72 Vega GT at the age of 15, which taught me everything I need to know about body work at a very young age because even back in the day it was rusted out. So stay tuned. Let's see what we can do with this. All righty. Here we are back. Been doing some uh, body work here. Getting this roof smoothed out. I'm going to take it over here and put some primer on it and see where we're at. So stay tuned.
Okay, here we are back with some of the final bits and pieces. You saw me paint the cab and trailer. Uh, they turned out really great. I'll wait for the reveal so you can see those. Um, off camera, I cleaned this with soap and water. I came out and polished it with Meguiar's cleaner wax and then dunked it in some mopping glow and it turned out beautiful I had one little scratch right there but we're not gonna worry about that and same with the windshield and it came out beautiful which brand new and as far as the interiors go there was no need to paint this since it was perfect and this was nice and clean so these are both out of the second one I used those along with the windows because it just I was fighting I was fighting too hard to try to get the other ones clean after I accidentally put them in I think it was easy off oven cleaner too long and it, and it hazed them so we will go with these and these are the axles out of the second one they don't have a uh, permanent lacquer purple paint all over them one axle, I think, has a little bit of a bend in it. I'll straighten it and polish them. But they look good. And this base looks so nice. I'm, all I'm going to do is polish the butt grill and the bumper. And the bottom doesn't need anything, and these wheels don't need anything. I'm just going to go ahead and clean it up and pop some tires on there. And for the tires... I will just do a simple wash like we do with all the other tires for Matchbox. And here is our little horn section. I'll give this a nice polish and make them look shiny and chrome. And after that, I think that we will be ready for assembly. So stay tuned. Okay, here we are at the reveal of my Matchbox King Size K18 articulated horse van and Dodge tractor, or as we call in America, a truck, road tractor. And I'd just like to th say that this is my very first King Size that I've ever restored, and I can't, I'm just tickled to death at how good it came out. And I got my decals from Black Square Decals in the UK, and some of the parts that I obtained for this, which takes the longest, was from MK Models, and, and also from eBay, where I bought a parts vehicle to uh, finish the product project. But I bought this way back, picking at Carlisle. Pennsylvania at the spring swap meet for the spring auto swap meet and I think I paid like two or three dollars for it ended up it was it wasn't much I bought, I bought a whole bunch of stuff for like five or six bucks but I'm tickled to death with the way this thing turned out without further ado let's take a look at it there it is in all its glory everything is perfect and also wait all the doors and everything tires are all here everything i can't articulate i won't fit on my articulator so there's the front all the glasses are clear and every, all the decals are all nice and set and it's got a nice shine to it um everything rolls just as it should and one of the things that I'm excited about is get some of that dust off of there from that rag. Look at this. My horses came back. So all the horses came back. And the interior is all night as nice as the outside. So, 
nice skylight. Everything's all nice and pretty and shiny. So there you have it. My K18 articulated horse trailer. I hope you've enjoyed this one just as much as I have. It's been a long time coming to get this one done. So hope you have a nice weekend and happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there, including myself. So have a good one. See you next one.